Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. What's going on, YouTube? It's Filthy, and we're back with another video. What's going on, YouTube? What's going on, YouTube? It's Filthy, and we're back with another video. Uh, sorry to everybody who's bored with the Inner Monk. This is going to be the Inner Monk push guide. Uh, this, for my money, is the best solo push build in the game for casual players. Very strong. We're going to very briefly touch on the pieces that we've selected, uh, some of the advantages that they offer while we've taken them. Uh, then we're going to sit down and we're going to watch my 132 clear uh, and when I had about 1800 Paragon. It was a fairly decent clear. I was quite happy with it uh, as a more kind of casual kind of guy. I didn't really do much um, pushing. It was, I think, a little bit higher than two in the top 200 uh, earlier on. And as my clan mate Truthful, oh, he's cleared 132, but only just. Uh, me, me and Truthful are just trying to vie for the top spot at the moment. Um, before we do get going, though, as always, guys, thumbs up. Uh, brightens my day. Um, I'm by no means a particularly big push player, uh, but I think given the changes that we've had to the Great Rift system, uh, namely the fact that we can close Greater Rifts here, uh, means that fishing is a lot faster than it was. Uh, and secondly, the fact that they've adjusted a lot of the mob types uh, and also the mapping of the GR, uh, just Greater Rifts, means that it's probably more fun to push than it was to. That's the only reason I've never done it, is because I just don't really find it fun. Um, I have occasionally pushed a few things, um, but nothing really particularly seriously. So this season it is a bit of a, a bit of a, a new one for me. Right, Inner Monk. Uh, we're not going to go through the bonuses, but the spec that we've got is the uh, crudest boots on the character and the all guild setup. Uh, the other way you can do it is with Spirit Guards and the uh, Lefebvre Soliloquy. You can try and do it that way. Um, I like this way because we're actually going to use the Water Ally. And this is, I think, the best for solo casual. Um, I think last time I'd looked at the board for Europe, the top clear was actually uh, a water one. That's not been the case the whole season. Uh, some people have been doing Earth Ally, uh, although it does look like these are all actually water. Now, whether water is better than Earth uh, is kind of debatable as i say it looks like all of these players have actually done here's one with earth ally this was the top clear for a while and um, i don't like the earth ally the ai is annoying and the water ally is just much easier to play so given that there might not be much difference in power between the two certainly much easier to play the water variant uh what other pieces have we got we've got the shenlongs this Again, since this has been fixed, it's actually quite nice to play. Uh, the basic mechanic is is that your spirit fills up, uh, and then as it does, uh, you get this extra um, modifier. It drains your spirit as you go, but it gives you this 350% damage modifier, which is obviously huge. So once you get that up, uh, the idea is you just have to uh, try and keep it up as long as you can. Um, that deserves one of these, doesn't it? That's what she said. <laughs> um, so ways of keeping it up are to obviously attack with your generator. Uh, you can also use your mystic ally because whenever you pop this button, whoosh, you get a uh, an influx of spirit. Um, and if you can try and not use cyclone strike terribly much, because this obviously does cost spirit when we use it. Um, there's like the best practice obviously is if you're at the top of the spirit and you've got your Shenlong's bonus up, you've got a cold convention cycle and you're stood in an oculus ring uh, and your flying dragon activates giving you double attack speed, um, you will do a lot of damage uh, and we should see in the rift some pretty zoom zoom damage uh, on some of the enemies. That in mind, also sometimes you do get a bit of a kind of cruddy feeling to it because uh, you know, you've not got the Shenlong's bonus, the Flying Dragon isn't proccing, you're not on your cold cycle, so it can feel a little bit sometimes like you're just flicking pebbles at the tank, um, but I guess that's just kind of how it is. Uh, we've got the Traveller's Pledge and Compass Rose, uh, definitely better than the Squirt setup for me, uh, simply because you get damage reduction as you move. Uh, and also you get up to double damage standing still. So, you know, if we've got all of our bonuses up, we've got 100% extra damage, uh, we do do we do we hit pretty hard. Rogue, obviously, to make up the bonuses, a convention of elements. Um, we have got everything orged uh, except for the compass rose because realistically it's going to be very hard to find one of these 
ancient. You know, attack speed on it is nice. Double crit and socket uh, are really what we're looking for. Uh, and a fairly decent Traveler's Pledge, a bit of room to grow in this, uh, but you know, 81% and 8 and cold is, is pretty nice. Um, we've obviously got the cold percent. Try and go for the 6% crit on all guilds. Um, I'm just running out of mats, basically. Uh, and then Mystic Ally Damage, Shoulders Essential, Mystic Ally Damage, Chest Essential. Um, I don't have the Inner's Radiance, Ancient and Orgs. I just can't get one. Um, I haven't reforged. But to be fair, I haven't reforged it, so maybe I can't grumble, um, but I would like one. That would be nice. Uh, as high modifier as you can on the cruise boots, the bindings obviously we've got in the cube, uh, again for the pretty juicy modifier. On your weapons, attack speed on both. Uh, it is a multiplicative uh, damage. Uh, I think I think it multiplies through on the weapons, which is great. Life pit on at least one of them. Um, because you're going to be doing a lot of punching. That's going to be a source of sustain. We've got a juicy 2 million life pool. Uh, and if you can get life pit on both, I'd probably be willing to try that. I've got vitality on this one. Um, damage percent would be nice. Cooldown we don't need quite so much. It would help a little bit with teleporting and some serenity action. Um, but not essential by any means. Um, so yeah, just 7% attack speed, good damage roll on them. Um, that one's got another couple of hundred to go. Uh, that one is pretty much maxed out. So this one is is decent on damage, but has vitality. Uh, this one is not so good on vitality, uh, not so good on damage, sorry, but has life per hit. So, you know, it's kind of how it goes. Uh, defensive stats everywhere else except for gloves. Uh, I still haven't found an ancient pair with attack speed double crits. Uh, that would be the preference. And again, maybe you could sneak a little bit of cooldown in here um, if you've got, the, you know, roll off the main stat. But we've got damage, we've got vitality. Uh, and as I say, we've got a nice big healthy life pool. Uh, I will flash the skills up just for you to have a little look. Uh, it is, again, always the standard kind of inner stuff. We've got the Epiphany Desert Shroud for Spirit Regen damage reduction. Water Allies is our damage. Cyclone Strike we use this to group and also it activates the braces for us. Way of the Hundred Fist Assimilation gives us a bit more damage. Uh, Serenity Ascension is just great for blocking damage. Um, you're trying to juggle that really. I don't do a good job in the clear, I'm sure. Um, but you're trying to juggle block damage with Dashing Strike. So you can use this to get out of the way of things like explosions, that sort of stuff. But it also gives you a nice dodge chance uh, when it's up. So it's got a little green bar over it. Uh, and whilst that is up, you've got increased dodge chance, and then you need to hit it again to get it. So if you can time it, uh, you can get kind of perma dodge chance. Um, juggling it with serenity can be quite helpful. Guardian's path and the passives again, dual wielding dodge chance. It is kind of nice. It's easy initiative for super attack speed. Beacon Vita for cooldown. Near death experience we definitely need. We are squish. We are a little bit squishy in this setup, but the reason I like the all guilds uh, is the huge elite damage because most regular mobs will you'll find you won't have any problems with. But you need to put an elite down fairly fast because you're looking to try and get the uh, the pylon spawned and that kind of thing. Uh, for Paragon, I did have some points in Vitality. This is from doing the Echoing Nightmares. I find some points in Vitality useful. I think I left them in on the push. Um, but uh, that said, let's exit this. Uh, we'll watch the clear um, and see how it goes. I haven't watched this back, uh, so we'll have to see. Now, in um, I think it was about 30 rifts or so that we ended up looking at. Um, I did play a few quite far into. Uh, basically, you're going to need a Condi and you're going to need a Power Pylon, really, I think. Uh, or I certainly did to get 132 done. Now, as you can see, the damage output's pretty good. Uh, if you can get a, a, a single yellow enemy on its own, uh, it is kind of nice. We did manage to put that down fairly quick. So, this map here is a nice big open one. Um, the enemies don't look particularly dangerous. So we're just trying to jump into these ocular circles as they come up. Uh, and just looking to build a little bit of timer because, you know, we are just kind of going for the pylons. The pylons is really the, the key thing. Um, we are squishy for any kind of elemental effects here. We've got the poison on the ground. Uh, it does hurt quite a bit. 
We just need to keep an eye on the follower cheat death and our own cheat death. And provided we've got at least one of them, we can be a little bit more aggressive. Uh, if we have both activated at the same time and um, we want to be much more wimpy, uh, you know, because dying is going to eat into the timer. Uh, also, if you die and you don't have access to the mystic allies here at the bottom, um, that would suck. So at the moment, I'm trying to just survive, I think, um, whilst still trying to get these um, enemies down. So we've got the first cheat death has gone off on the follower uh, and we are struggling because we've got the, the electricity and the poison. A passive wise way that you could try and get around this would be to try and take uh, Harmony for a bit more toughness, that would give you a lot more all resist. Um, and the other passive that I have thought about playing around with is the Relentless Assault which gives you 20% more damage to frozen enemies because obviously there is an awful lot of freeze. now. At this point I was cursing because our first pylon that we get is a cooldown, uh, it's definitely the least for, yeah, you know the least impact out of any of the pylons that is the one I want the least it is helpful because it does allow us a lot more uh, serenity which is nice because obviously we've got the two cheat deaths up so we can pop the um, block damage completely uh, which is is pretty good but it's still not brilliant uh, and I think we wussed out on that last enemy I can't remember if we go back uh, to get them but we can just about stay ahead of the timer uh, which is good I think the last one might have been a juggernaut uh, so we will we skip the juggernauts because the bane of the trapped extra damage uh, is just essential when you when you, you know when you're getting this when you're pushing to the edge of your ability as a player to the edge of your ability as a build uh, you know you, juggernaut generally forget it unless you've got a condi uh, or a power. Now it is a little difficult with the monk to stay in the Oculus circles because of the way the epiphany works and you do kind of get teleported to stuff. Um, but you just have to kind of do your best and if you can get in them uh, like that there just stood on the edge just trying to eke out that little extra bit of damage um, and yeah just trying just trying to trying to make sure that we stay alive we've now got both the cheat deaths are back now I think because they've both gone uh, so we're a little bit a little bit happier <laughs> but yeah the the elemental stuff does hurt we do take a death at some point in this run I can't quite remember exactly where it is um, but the cold cycle comes just before, just after the physical. So if you can try and put out some damage with your Shenlongs up in your cold cycle, uh, that will that will help you out. Uh, yellows obviously are, are absolutely generally a dream um, because you, you you can just focus on the one enemy. Obviously, we've got the bane of the stricken, so damage does increase the longer we kind of wail on something. Um, but yellows for this build I think are probably a little easier than blues and there we go, that was the death that's the one death I think that we take uh, and I think I decided to try and do we go back up? Do I, do I... I think we maybe skip this guy and then come back to them uh, and we might get lucky because there might... there's another spawn point for a pylon just further up here on the mini map but I can't remember if, <laughs> I can't remember if we get uh, the pylon or not on this floor and I'm not even sure this guy is that up for uh, being left alone. So I think I just end up saying, right, well, we'll probably just about get through this. Because uh, we were pretty close to putting him down. I think we burned through the other cheat death getting this guy boxed off in the end. If memory serves me, but this was a couple of days ago. Uh, did, we get, did we get him? Yeah, we're going to get him. And that's it. We don't we don't need to worry with the ads. We're not using the bane of the powerful. And I think I decided at this point uh, we'll just go to the next floor because we're a little tight on timer. There's not going to be much else on this floor, so we're really just kind of kind of seeing. Um, this tile set here can be decent sometimes. It just depends. Again, the enemies don't look particularly threatening, uh, so we can try and build up a bit more progress in our progress bar whilst we just basically try and get. Uh, another pile on to spawn and we're obviously hoping for power for speed for comedy uh, i mean even the even the shield pile on is fairly decent for this build because it just means you can just stand still jump into all of your oculus rings uh, and and get the most damage out but whenever you've got your shenlongs going once it's up you're pretty much just trying to mash uh mash attack uh, and also the mystic allies just to make sure that you've got the maximum amount of time in this like 
350% damage mod because obviously it is it is completely huge um, for you know, the difference is night and day for when you've got that up particularly on the convention so it looks like this one's a short one um, but we've got a blue here I can't remember if we take these guys out or not again I'm just thinking at this point I think uh, about trying to get the progress bar up so that maybe on the next map uh, we can get a, a lucky kind of break and we can get another pylon uh, arcane obviously very dangerous as well uh, anything elemental is quite dangerous so at the moment we've got both cheat deaths I can't remember if we take another death here uh, we might do I might just decide to try and uh, get them away from it uh, but obviously any kind of enclosed space and archon um, archon beams arcane beams not archon uh, arcane beams is, is generally difficult uh, but we've pretty much killed everything around these guys so I think we decide that we can take them uh, even though they do have the jailer we can bust out that with the teleport um, and we're just kind of trying to hang on because ultimately if we don't get these guys killed and enough progress we're not going to get our conduit pylon uh, and then this run would have been a fail um, as I said there was a couple of maps that we did look at to get quite deep on I played one particularly poorly I got battlefields with a power pylon uh, and then I bit off more than I could chew with three uh, elite enemies or with nasty affixes. Again, this tile set is quite decent. Uh, these big poison spiders are quite nasty because the poison does a lot of damage. Um, I think they're quite hard to kill. Uh, and I'm not sure how much progress they're worth. But again, I'm just thinking, well, if we can get it, if we can get the nice pile on this map, then maybe we can get it done. Um, and we start off with speed. Bit of a risk here because we've got two elites at once, uh, which could have could have gone very very badly. Um, but we kind of are using the um, the the little corner in the map to help us out a little bit and help avoid some damage. Speed pylon obviously makes the inner monks go brr and do a lot of damage. Uh, and I think I just kind of kind of back into the corner, back into the corner, uh, just with a view to trying to uh, get this down. And I think the other elite is still. They followed us on top, but it, it could have been we could have got a double juggernaut here, and that probably would have wrecked the run, uh, and that would have been that. But we got a little lucky with what came out the pylon. Um, and again, I'm just thinking at this point, well, if we can get both of these down, we're really just playing the RNG for the pylon. Uh, and if we get one, great. Uh, we've still got one cheat death at this point, so again, it, it, it's I'm happy to be aggressive, I'm happy to be stood in the middle of all this crap uh, punching my way to, to it's why the life per hit is so so important uh, and just thinking well we'll uh, we'll be able to take these but it, it was two nice yellows definitely uh, if these had been nasty as anything um, that might not have gone quite so well we've got a bit of time now so I'm starting to think ooh maybe this is the one maybe we will get this uh, done and you know, these little uh, face huggery type things from aliens are pretty good, pretty easy to kill. You can then get your ocular circle. If you get lucky, it's going to be right under your feet. It's going to time up with your Shenlong's bonus, with your convention cycle. Uh, and then, you know, watch it watch it go bang. Now, this tile set's uh, one of my least favourite to play a lot of the time because it's super easy to get lost and tracking back on yourself, particularly when you're trying to clear as hard as possible is very difficult uh, it's not much fun but we get lucky we go the correct way we get the conduit i'm now just thinking ooh, hello uh, we get another yellow up at the top so i think we just decide to take it straight away and then again i i'm still a little cautious about dying so i think i'm going to try and take them one at a time rather than um you know the, the correct thing for time wise would probably be to get into this middle bit here where we just moved then um but I think in my mind at this point, I'm just trying not to die. Um, because I'm thinking I really don't want to waste any time on this conduit. Uh, but I, I probably could have improved this clear a little bit by trying to get in between the middle of those two. Using the cyclone strike to group them up a little bit. Uh, and then Condi working on them both at the same time. But I was pretty confident at this point of getting the clear done. So whether we needed the extra seconds or not, I'm not sure. And again, it's, it's sometimes it's useful to go back and look at these things and think is the ways of improving. Um, some of the maps that we opened up, we had to <laughs> immediately quit because we got like spear chuckers or 
We've got uh, elites that were just really hard to kill and, you know, vortex orbits and stuff. Uh, and now we've got the power pile on. We're thinking that, well, this should be this should be us home and hosed. Again, we've got another yellow. Um, not juggernaut, nothing nasty. And I think I just decided to pop the power pile on uh, with a view to trying to get both these things killed quickly and then maybe having a little bit of power for the boss. Uh, but as it turns out, I think a couple of the affixes here are nasty because we've got the fire on the ground, which is very hurty. We've got the frozen explosions. We've got the jailer, uh, which is no good. Uh, and the electricity as well. So we are really getting a good good hammering. I think at this point I was getting quite worried that I'd absolutely balls this up because we get one cheat death uh, and I'm thinking we're not too near killing either of these. Um, and I think it's one of them got shielding as well. Might well do. And I'm thinking at this point we're in a corridor. We've got tons of arcane. We've got fro freezing. We've got fire. We've got electricity. We've got the whole shebang. Uh, but the power pile and does just about come in clutch. Uh, and then pop the Rift Guardian. Fortunately, we didn't have to kill the second Elite. Uh, the boss, I think, from memory, goes down fairly quickly. Uh, again, we've still got one cheat death, so we're just trying to wail on him whilst he's frozen for the moment, trying to keep up the Shenlongs as, as best we can. Um, as you can see, with sustained punching, we can keep it up for quite a while. And then we've propped cheat death just as we get to our next convention cycle. Uh, but again, we pop the Mystic Allies just at the right time, and you can see the absolute... Uh, whizzing of the damage, which is nice. And now I'm just thinking, oh, I don't want to die. We just need a few more, few more hits. One more, one more convention cycle. I think pops us out. Uh, and yeah, uh, you know, a fairly decent set of maps. Not the best in the world. And there we go. One four six. It was. So we've been dumped down 50, 60 places uh, since then. But uh, yeah, that is that is a full explained one three two clear. I think. You know, we did get good pylons. I think we could have got a better map, better pylons. So there's maybe another tier or two that we could get out of just everything as it was in the video. Um, the legendary gems can maybe, if we can, if I carry on cracking on with the season, I can get those improved. Paragon, we could add, you know, another three, four tiers on with some Paragon. Uh, maybe clean up that last augment. Maybe clean up one of the weapons for a bit more damage as well. Uh, get some attack speed on the glove. So, you know, I've seen some 140 clears on the board. Uh, that would be uh, probably beyond my capabilities as a player, um, but we'll see. We'll see how long the season goes. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, yeah, some feedback would be great. Did, did you like this? Did you like having the entire rift gone through with commentary? Uh, or is this just crap and a waste of time? <laughs> Who knows? All right, I've been the Filthy Casual. Take it easy, guys. Peace.